how much you can earn and gain subscribers from a faceless YouTube channel to know watch this channels to learn how much you can earn and how many subscribers you can gain. The content of this channel consists exclusively of quizzes and riddles, with no face or voice. Now take a look at this channel where you'll find the same concept, no face and no voice. Let me show you their earnings, which might surprise you. According to Social Blade, this channel is earning between $1,000 to $5,000 per month. Let's take roughly around $3,000 to $4,000 per month. And I can guarantee you that they are earning more than this because these figures are not even accurate, they usually fall on the lower end. You can also see their views, where even in older videos, they are getting around 200, 300 views per hour. The reason behind this is simple. These videos challenge people's knowledge, making them enjoyable to watch. People tend to watch these videos completely, and then leave comments about how many correct answers they got, or what score they achieved. This high engagement and watch time benefit your channel. However, YouTube doesn't just stop at engagement and watch time. It promotes your video to more people, potentially leading to viral content, thus rapidly growing your channel. To create such videos, what you need is one, two hours per week. In today's video, I will guide you step by step on how to create videos just like them, using ChatGPT and Canva. You can also create as many short, real, or even long videos as you want using the bulk create. I have one request make sure not to miss any steps and don't skip the video, or you might face difficulties later on. So let's get started. So first, you need to open ChatGPT and instruct it to write 500 quiz riddles on Guess the Movie by Emojis. I will provide you with the exact prompt that you can copy from the description. From there, you'll get the complete content. You can collect as many riddles or quizzes as you want using ChatGPT, such as 100, 200, 500, or even 1000. In the next step, you need to copy all this data and paste it into a Google Sheet. Then, you'll need to delete the riddles with longer answers, as this will help when creating in bulk in Canva. It will also save you time in the later process. Now let's move on to Canva. First, you'll select the video size. I've chosen the YouTube video size for long videos, but you can choose shorts, reels, or any other size as per your preference, and the process will remain the same. In Canva, start by adding a background. For these kinds of videos, a simple background usually works well. You can use a background video or photo if you like, it's up to you. Next, you'll set the timing for each scene. Typically, one scene or page is around 10, 11 seconds. Adjust accordingly. Then, click on text boxes and click on add headings. You'll need to add two text boxes for each scene, one for emojis and the other for answer. You can customize the text box's size, font, and color as per your need. I have kept it black. Copy the first emoji from your Google Sheet and paste it into the first text box. Adjust the text box size accordingly. Similarly, copy the first answer from the Google Sheet and paste it into the second text box. Now, add animations to the text. Click on the first text box, go to the animation options, and choose an animation that you like. Apply the same animation to both entry and exit, and set the animation speed to medium. Repeat this step for the second text box also. Now here comes a crucial step. Pay close attention. You need to adjust the timing of the text boxes. Currently both are appearing at the same time, but you want the emoji to appear first, then have a five second gap before the answer appears. To achieve this, leave the timing of the first text box unchanged since we want the emoji to appear continuously, that is from starting to last. However, once the emoji appears, pause the video and search for a countdown timer in Canva's Elements section. Add a five second countdown timer video under the emoji, adjusting its size and placing it beneath the emoji. Don't worry, the final output won't look like this. It is just a representation of the process. Remember, each step is important and skipping any step might lead to certain doubt later on. So let's continue with the process. Now as you play the video and the emojis appear, pause the video as soon as the emojis show up. Click on the timing box and then on the three dots to access the show timing option. You'll need to adjust the timer starting from the point where you pause the video, not from the beginning. Drag the blue box to set the timer's starting point to match where you pause the video and set the ending point of the timer where the countdown ends. For the timer, it ends at one, so keep it there. Now, adjust the timing for the answer. You can set the starting point of the answer to match the ending point of the timer, or one second after it. Click on the answer text box, then click on the three dots, 
and access the show timing option to adjust it as needed. This involves playing with the timing, so pay careful attention to the steps. This initial effort is essential which we will put on for first time only, and the rest of the process will be automatic. Let's review the setup. It looks perfect. Timing is set. Now to make the video even more engaging, you can add music. To do this, go to the Elements section and search for Cork Pop-Up in the Audio section. Preview and select a sound that you'd like to add. Place the music where the emoji appears. Pause the video where the emoji is about to show, then click on the spot where you want the music to start and add it. Similarly, you can add music for the timer. Search for Clock Tick Tock in the Elements section. Add the music where the timer starts and ends. Lastly, for the answer, add music in the same way. You can choose any music you like. For example, I've added Logo Ascend music. Feel free to choose what suits your video. You might be wondering, how will we add music when we move on to bulk creation, as the music doesn't have a bulk create option? Don't worry, I've got a trick for that too. When your first page is complete with all adjustments and music added, select all the elements on the page and delete them not the audio, just the elements on the page. This will be used for the bulk creation settings. After deleting the elements, download the file in MP4 format. Once the download is complete, go back to your page and press Keytrill plus Z to undo the deletion. This will bring back all the elements. Next, delete all the audio tracks from the bottom of the page. Then, go to the Uploads section and upload the downloaded file. Once uploaded, bring the file back into the page. It will set itself as the background, along with the music. When you proceed with bulk creation, the music will also be included. Isn't this a fantastic trick? Now the music is added, and we're nearly 90% done with our work. Now let's move on to bulk creation. To use bulk create option, you will need a Canva Pro account, which costs around $1.15 per month. But don't worry, I'll share a trick so you can do bulk creation for free. First, click on the three dots on the first slide and select Duplicate. This will create an identical slide with the music and timer. Now go to your Google Sheet, copy the second emoji, and paste it into the emoji text box on the duplicated slide. Similarly, copy the second answer, and paste it into the answer text box. Repeat this process for as many slides as you need, duplicating the slides and changing the emojis and answers. Remember, the timer remains the same, 5 seconds. This copy pasting might take a bit of time, but if you want to save money, a bit of effort is required. Once this is done, your pages will be ready in less than 30 minutes. Let's play the video to see how it looks. Doesn't it feel amazing? Now click on the share option above and download the video. If you want all the combined data in a single video, download it as is. If you want different videos, you can manually download each slide separately. After downloading, you can upload it to YouTube, Instagram, or anywhere else you prefer. Watch your social media accounts grow without showing your face or using your own voice. If you have any questions, feel free to ask by leaving a comment. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for further notifications about upcoming videos. See you in the next video, and thanks for watching.